welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and today I want to talk about five newborn sleep must-haves. So a little bit of a backstory about me. I've been a nurse for seven years and five of those years I've been in the NICU. So my job is to take care of tiny premature infants every single day. I love what I do. But to jump right in, the first item I would consider a newborn sleep essential is a bassinet. There are tons of brands of bassinets out there and we went with the Halo Bassinest. This bassinet really spoke to me because it had so many features that I found appealing. The first of those features is the ability to adjust the height. Now, for us, we have a really tall bed, so a traditional standstill bassinet really wouldn't have done a great job for us just because I would have had to still get out of the bed every time baby needed to get up. With this bassinet, I was able to bring it right to the side of my bed, adjust the height based on our, the height of our bed, and get baby out easily. It also features a side rail that is, comes down. It also features a side rail that comes down. So when you reach in to grab baby, the pressure of your arms actually lowers that side rail to make it a little bit easier for you to get baby out. The other features that I love about this bassinet, it has a night light for those middle of the night feeds so you can see what you're doing without completely illuminating the entire room. You also have a breastfeeding timer. So in the middle of the night, when it's time to feed baby, you can start the timer. And if you accidentally fall asleep while nursing, after the 20 minutes go by, it's gonna gently remind you to wake up and put baby back in its safe place. The other features that it had were including a vibration mode and a lullaby mode. Again, just to help soothe baby during the middle of the night or during the daytime if you're using the bassinet for baby to sleep in then as well. I think one of the most important things to know is that baby has been used to this environment for about 40 weeks. So they've been used to that feeling of security. So it's really important that we kind of mimic that for a few weeks after birth so that they feel comfortable and they're able to rest. One way we can do this is swaddling. Now there are tons of types of swaddle sacks out there as well as traditional swaddle blankets. For us, for the first couple of weeks, we actually use traditional swaddle blankets. I love the Aiden and Anai muslin blankets just because it gave me a little bit more material to work with. I'm pretty proficient at swaddling as it's something I do in the NICU all the time. So for us, that was an easy answer. It was I was able to keep baby nice and secure and snug for a couple of weeks until he was able to break free. Once he was able to break free, I actually started using a Swaddle Me Swaddle. Now this brand features three Velcro tabs so that you're able to get baby's arms nice and snug so that they feel that sense of security. We also use the Halo Sleep Sack. This features the Velcro tabs as well as an inverted zipper. So in the middle of the night, you're able to unzip up to the chest, change baby's diaper without ever disturbing their arms. The third brand we had, but we didn't actually use, was the Love to Dream Swaddle. A lot of parents swear by this because some babies really love it. It again features that inverted zipper so you're able to change baby's diaper in the middle of the night without disrupting them. But this one allows baby to keep its hands near its face. A lot of babies enjoy having their hands close to their face to help soothe themselves. So this swaddle, while keeping their arms contained, allows them to keep their hands up near their face for that purpose. The next newborn sleep essential is really an product for mom and dad, not so much for baby. It's the Owlet, which I'm sure you've heard of. This is a monitor that allows you to monitor baby's heart rate and oxygen level through the night, as well as how they sleep, so that you're able to get a little bit more peace of mind while you're sleeping. This is something I knew I was gonna have to have because I do work in the NICU, and babies in the NICU are always on a monitor that shows me those exact numbers. So going into having my first baby, I knew I wanted this product. Now there is a lot of controversy around this product amongst pediatricians because they say it gives parents a false sense of security. And I think the most important takeaway there is that this product is not going to save your baby if something does go wrong. It is not going to make your baby breathe again. But what it's gonna do, it's gonna alert you very loudly in the middle of the night if something does go wrong so that you can initiate those steps of CPR if necessary. The fourth newborn sleep essential I would consider really important is the sound machine. Now, this goes back to mimicking the womb. The womb by no means is a quiet place. When baby's inside the womb, they're used to hearing mom talk, they're used to hearing the sounds of mom's body as well as muffled sounds from the outside. So mimicking that sound once they are born is kind of important to help them sleep. A sound machine does that perfectly. The sound machine we went with was the Marpac Hush and this company actually makes several different types of sound machine. I like this one because it is portable. It has a battery that's rechargeable so we can use it at home as well as on the go. 
This one features several different kinds of white noise as well as a volume adjustment. So you can keep it near baby or you can put it across the room and just change that volume according to how loud you think baby needs it. The final newborn sleep essential is for that daytime sleep. Now, most babies are gonna easily fall asleep in your arms, which is so great. We love to cuddle our babies, but we also need time to be hands-free. These two products really helped us during the daytime to give baby a safe place to be while we were doing other things around the house. Two of those are gonna be the Boppy Lounger. Now the Boppy Lounger is similar to the Boppy Pillow that moms use while breastfeeding, except instead of having an open middle to go around you, it's completely enclosed. So it looks like a little bird's nest. Our little guy loved the Boppy Lounger and he actually still uses it every day. Um, we were able to sit it on the couch beside us, so we know he's safe, but we're able to be hands-free. Also the Dockatot. The Dockatot is great because it gives baby that sense of security again. It gives them those boundaries while also keeping them safe. So we use this for daytime sleep as well as on the go. So if we went to grandma's house and baby needed a safe place to nap, but grandma doesn't necessarily have a bassinet or a crib, you can use the Dockatot because you're right there with them, but you're also wanting to be hands-free and give them that comfortable place to sleep. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. More to come on baby must-haves as well as questions and stuff regarding the NICU. Thanks and have a great day.